good uh, day people uh, we can say good evening it's about late time now uh, today is another beautiful day today I've got Bazi here with me good evening Bazi how are you yes uh, so today we are here to do early docking right so I'm going to show you an example of uh, what we're going to do on the test day right before you do anything uh, I want to say uh, thank you guys uh, from Gabon there uh, for sponsoring s &A driving school thank you for whatever you're doing to us we really appreciate it and don't forget guys to subscribe and share the videos with other people right okay so we are going to do um, what we call inside inspection right mm -hmm. then you're going to say all oh, the doors are closed properly all the doors are closed Seat and mirrors has been adjusted. Your hands must be showing the examiner that you really know what you're talking. Uh, yes, I've been adjusted. Yes, and then you say handbrake is up. Gear knob is neutral. Yes, I, I know there's trash there on top of my dashboard, but for, for that day it won't be there. So you say there's no obstruction on dashboard as well underneath the pedals right so the examiner will then say i want you to do outside what inspection so before you go out you know what you must do what must you do before you go out to to come outside you do blind spot right to make sure that you are opening a door and it is safe right okay come down come down okay so from there uh from there okay you can get in so from there now you're gonna say there's no obstruction and leakages under the vehicle there's no obstruction and leakages under, under the, vehicle. the vehicle and then you say to the examiner that my tire thread is more than one millimeter my tire thread is more than one millimeter there is enough pressure in the tire there is enough pressure in the tire and my tire nuts are well tightened and my tire nuts are well tightened you say my rear mirror, my rear mirror is, is not uh, broken, is working in a good condition. My rear mirror is working in a good condition. And then, uh, my, my, and you can say my mirror is not broken also. Maybe the English can be too long. So you must shorten it up. My mirror is not broken, is working in a good condition. My mirror is not broken and is working in a good condition. And that this door is not broken, working in a good condition. This door is not broken and is working in a good condition. And then uh, you come here and say this headlight is not broken, working in a good condition. This headlight is working in a good condition. So by the time you are doing the test, mm -hmm. this is what you must be looking at uh, your vehicle. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes even if there is any crack on that headlight, it won't test. Uh, you understand? Yes. So make sure that your lights is everything is alright. Yes. Number plate corresponding to the valid disc, you say? Number plate is corresponding to the, to valid, the valid disc. disc. Yes, you see there, there's uh, C, what, what, I mean, CA somewhere there. Yes. Yes, there is, there is, uh, yes, C, CA, CA62, what, what, you see there. So this, yeah, it has to correspond. We can't have CF there and there is CA. Mm -hmm. You understand? Then you say this headlight is the same as the other one. Light is the same as the other and then you say my wipers are working in a good condition my wipers are working in a good condition and then you say the, the screen is not damaged the screen is not damaged yes and then you say uh, this mirror is the same as the other one this mirror is the same with the other one and then you see the door is the same as the other one come this side i want you to do after me right the door is not uh, broken working in a good condition door is not broken and it's the same with the other one and then you come here my tire is the same as other one my tire is the same with the other one which which one is the other one this side one okay mm -hmm. then what is that thing there the battery ah uh, that mm -hmm. thing you are passing now this one uh, yeah uh, uh, the one there that one there this there one? yes what is that what's the name of that it's called the safety pin, right? Safety My pin. safety pin is locked. You see, they hold it nicely. My safety yes. pin is locked. Yes, if that thing is loose, ne, mm -hmm. the truck is going to fall with okay. with the head. Alright. Yes. So you say also my, my 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 battery is secure. My battery is secure. My tire, uh, my my terminals are, are, are tightened. My terminals are tightened. The terminals are inside the battery. Remember. Battery, yeah. And then you say my reflector tape is visible. Tape is and then you say there's no obstruction between the tires. There's no obstruction between the tires. And then you say my big, my big, my big, my big lights, my my brake lights, my brake lights. They are my working in a good condition. Lights are working in a good condition. And then you say number plate corresponding with the one in front. 
number plate is corresponding with the one in front. Then my danger tape is visible. My danger tape is visible. Danger tape, yeah? Danger tape. Yeah, it's dangerous. Oh. <laughs> Reflector tape is visible. Reflector tape is visible. And there's no obstruction between the tires. There's no obstruction between the tires. And there's enough pressure in the tire. And there is enough pressure. And then you say my fuel cap is locked. My fuel cap is locked. And then you say I've checked brake fluid, water, oil and fan belt. I've checked brake fluid, water and fan belt. Uh-uh. I've checked brake fluid, water, oil and fan belt. Black fluid, water, oil, and fin Okay, you can go inside now. Uh. Right, so we are going to uh, go inside the pose, right? Okay. Uh, after everything that we've done. And then from there, what you're going to do is to start your vehicle, right? Um, start your vehicle. So you are going to say mirror, mirror, blind spot, indicate to the right side. Indicate to the right side. Then reverse gear. Don't look down. Yes. Yeah. Then full observation. Right. And break down nicely. So guys, you are going to, to get inside the post. We are going to get the, inside the post. There is the post there. You know our formation two and four. Remember to drive slowly. No brakes. Use clash. Balance a little bit. Ne? Right. Just like that. Then I want you to do blind spot at the back now. How, for how long? Look there. How long are you supposed to do blind spot? Are you there? Lock your steering faster, quickly. I'm going to the left side, guys, to check what's happening here. Don't balance too much. The balance must not fight you, and it? Yes. You must not balance too much harder. Little bit breaks there. Make sure you are looking at the corner of the pole there. Don't drive fast. I want you to look at the wheels, guys. Once you get there three times faster, check your mirrors as you go. If there is problem, fix now. If there is problem, fix now. Check your mirrors. Check your mirrors. If there is problem, fix now. Once it's, it's fixed, you make your steering straight. Check both sides. You can't remain one side. So you see, guys, the car is coming inside. This is what we do. So I'm going to uh, let her do on her own so that you can see. She passed now the first set of the post. She's going to the uh, second set of the post. So we call them one, two, three, four. So when you see four posts, you're going to stop before, um, after the, the, those four posts, right? Stop. So these are the posts that you're gonna see, four posts in front of you and then you're good to go again one two three get uh-huh gear number one balance your car then full observation faster don't forget the blind spot when you turn to the other side eh okay keep moving all right so guys this is how we're doing this don't forget to subscribe on our channel and share the videos with other people uh thank you guys for watching as well uh you can see this is how we do early docking you don't need to be struggling you don't need to fight yourself with the clash balancing and brakes as well you need to balance a little bit lighter and then you don't use brakes at all blind spot it once ne? yeah not twice twice because if you do twice twice there your car is going out of the road sometimes stop right so you are going to go on your own nobody's gonna be with you let's go you know what you're supposed to do quickly there is a mirror mirror blind spot that is getting to the right now then selecting the gear through this after selecting the gear there she's balancing the car there is a full observation and break down now after that but she's moving she's moving bit by bit she's moving looking at the pause to that two and four formation that's where she's looking at that two and four formation do you see there she's gonna forget the blind spot She's gonna forget blind spot, I can tell you. There she forget the blind spot. She's starting to turn now. Let us see what will, what will happen at the, at, the, at the end. Then she's looking at the what? At the left side to see the left pole. The first left pole on the corner of the trailer must be in line. So there she's looking at that side. See, she's looking at that side to see what's happening. 
so I'm a bit fast so that you can see what's happening with the track there. You see, so when she see the pole there, three times faster. You see there, the, the, the track is straight. But the, she's more to the to that uh, left side. She's fixing it now to make it straight. And the one she's fixed is going to make straight steering. Right. Let us check both sides. As you can see, this is how it is. She looks like she's more a bit also on the on the right. And then she's fixing it. So what do we do, guys? When I'm meaning the right, I'm talking about her right side. Because she's the one who's reversing. So these are other things that you need to understand. When I say left side, I say the left side, when she's inside, the her left side is the one we are talking about. Because sometimes the, the way we hold the camera, it might not be the one that is um, a, a, a right one. But you can see there, she's inside. Guys, this is how you need to do your early talking. Look at this side, there's a gap. And also this side, there's a gap. But I don't like the way this other right side it is. It was going more to the to the right side but anyway guys thank you for subscribing and watching let us keep on watching this video and leave the comment and tell us where you are watching these videos so that you 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 you, you can get e equipped with this with these videos right one mistake you forget blind spot do you know that that blind spot for the left before you lock your steering you forget that one let, don't forget this time around right let's go again Right, so we are here. This is what she's supposed to do. See four poles in front of her, and then this is what is happening. So, guys, you know, sometimes when you are doing this thing, the only thing that you must do is to understand by the time your ex instructor is telling you number two and four or number one and three, understand those things. What does he mean by saying number two and four or number one and three? So that it, 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 it becomes easy for you to do your alley docking there's a blind spot for you to do your alley docking without any problems because i assume that when you when you turn three times faster your vehicle is supposed to be straight without fixing at all right stop there right this is what i i, I believe right you are going to do it for the last time right but i don't know why your car cannot be straight one time what is that you are doing that it makes your car not to after turn one to three to be straight let's go let's see right so there is a uh, indicator there mirror mirror blind spot indicator to the right you can see that is the right if you look in the car you see a right side yeah and then she's reversing now then full observation after that and then after full observation she's going inside and break down i'm gonna follow her that same side that I was driving, with, I, mean, I was moving from. Right, that same side that I was moving from. Right. Did you see already two and four? Fix your car and continue moving. I don't know, she already turned. Let us see. Because well, she was trying to do blind spot there. And the car is already going. You see there? Right, so these are the mistakes that people do. I asked her for a blind spot and she uh, she did, uh, what do you call, she did blind spot and turn at the same time. You see how the car looks because of one mistake. So sometimes rushing is not good. You see, we can, we can see, we can give a chance and see what is going to happen. But this kind of getting inside the pose, we are not looking at it at all. We don't appreciate this kind of getting inside the pose. We don't need it at all because sometimes you might need the pause and not understanding you see now there she stopped she's raising hand for another second chance that's what you do for your examiner you raise your hand you want to do a, a second chance right we ask you to do blind spot you did it and then what happened about the turning part uh -uh. make sure you look that one eh? let's go mira mira blind spot first right so you see there those are the things that happen but guys i'm telling you i'm giving you an advantage now once you see your vehicle is like this and you did quick turn without understanding what exactly you were doing uh, what exactly you are doing please raise up your hand the examiner will give you a second chance but when you given when you are given the second chance don't mess it up because that is the last chance there's no other chance that you might give right okay stop right let's go again don't mess up this time around eh? okay 
so you understand guys what i'm saying don't forget guys to leave the comment and please please say what you see if these things is helping you tell us give us the feedback after you pass your license we know some and somehow there are people who are watching these videos they don't come out they can tell us if they were getting help tell us guys what you are you are you are you are you are receiving through these teachings through this instructing yes you did blind spot the blind spot now right so she did get confused by the blind spot so this time around i know she's gonna make it she's going to get inside let us see what is happening here let's go guys look at the left side me I'm, I'm looking on the left side that's where i am on the left side side i want to see what's happening there and i see if it's inside then everything is right and then from there i i don't talk anymore you see there the car is not really nice there but let's see if she's gonna fix it there is fixed then after fixing make your steering straight you make your steering straight right there she's getting inside okay and then she's going she's going the reason why she fixed the car is because she didn't let the truck to go a little bit uh, in line with the, the first pole because if she would have done that a car was or his the head truck was going to be exactly as accurate you understand you see because now inside when you get in you have problems like this the other corner will be pointing any pause so if you don't notice these things they can also cause problem during your what your test if you can look at this side this side they got too much gap yes she's inside but this side also there's got what they got uh, there's a small gap so these are the things to take note whatever you do make sure your car is on the middle of the road don't just quick turn because you see the pole right thank you guys don't forget to subscribe and share the videos with other people i hope to see you soon thank you